Hi, I'm Dr. Dave. Arnold Chiari malformation is a malformation of the brain. It consists of a downward displacement of the cerebellar tonsils and the medulla through the foramen magnum, sometimes causing hydrocephalus as a result of obstruction of cerebrospinal fluid, CSF, outflow. The cerebrospinal fluid outflow being caused by phase difference in outflow and influx of blood in the vasculature of the brain. GRI malformation is the most frequently used term for these types of malformations. The use of the term Arnold GRI malformation has fallen somewhat out of favor over time, although it is used by some to refer to the type II malformation. Some sources use GRI malformation to describe four specific grades of the condition, reserving the term Arnold GRI for type II only. Some sources use Arnold GRI for all four types. This article uses the latter convention. GRI malformation or Arnold GRI malformation should not be confused with Bud GRI syndrome, a hepatic condition also named for Hans GRI. GRI malformations are diagnosed with a sagittal T1 magnetic resonance imaging MRI, scan of the posterior fossa of the skull. This displays the typical downward herniation of the cerebellar tonsils. A displacement of greater than 5 mm below the foramen magnum is deemed significant and will lead to a patient being diagnosed with Arnold GRI malformation. In some instances, MRI-CSF flow studies are used to decide if a displacement is causing any damage. The average age of diagnosis is about 27 and that is more common in women, but is also found in men. Some characteristics are visible prenatally, the brainstem, cranial nerves, and the lower portion of the cerebellum may be stretched or compressed. Therefore, any of the functions controlled by these areas may be affected. The blockage of cerebrospinal fluid, CSF. Flow may also cause a syrinx to form, eventually leading to syringomyelia. GRI is often associated with major headaches, sometimes mistaken for migraines. GRI headaches usually include intense pressure in the back of the head, aggravated by valsalva maneuvers, such as yawning, laughing, crying, coughing, sneezing or straining. GRI also includes muscle weakness facial pain, hearing problems, and extreme fatigue. It also can cause insomnia cycles of sleep deprivation followed by inabilities to remain awake cycling between them. 15% of patients with adult GRI malformation are asymptomatic. Once symptomatic onset occurs, a common treatment is decompression surgery in which a neurosurgeon usually removes the first and part of the second and sometimes third cervical vertebrae and part of the occipital bone of the skull to allow the flow of spinal fluid and may be accompanied by a shunt. This treatment is well recognized and accepted with many studies published, involving a total of hundreds of patients. In well-respected peer-reviewed medical journals showing that about 80% of patients obtain improvement. Some authors advocate performing a transoral clivisodonoid resection in cases with ventral brainstem compression, as they feel these patients may potentially deteriorate with posterior fossa decompression alone. A small number of neurological surgeons believe that deterring the spinal cord as an alternate approach relieves the compression of the brain against the skull opening, foramen magnum obviating the need for decompression surgery and associated trauma. However, this approach is significantly less documented in the medical literature, with reports on only a handful of patients. It should be noted that the alternative spinal surgery is also not without risk. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.